What's up guys? It's clear blue skies. We're gonna go diving today. I'm out here with my friend Jansen. Go in. It's his second time diving. So I'm gonna show him some more stuff. The last time I took him diving was that episode where we went and three pronged some fish. Today, we're gonna go three pronging again, but I'm also gonna show him how to use the spear gun. Jeez. He's pretty stoked on that. We're gonna get out in the water. Super calm, looks super beautiful. I can't wait, we're stoked. We'll see you guys out there. super interesting dive. When we got out there in the beginning, the water was really smooth, there wasn't a lot of wind, there wasn't a lot of surge, but as we were out there, the surge picked up, the wind picked up, and the conditions just got a little bit worse. My friend also got tired, so he ended up penning in a little earlier. That's why I didn't spear a lot of fish in the video before this, which is fine, because octopus, which is, or taco, which is what I'm cooking tonight, um, takes a while to cook, so it'll be kind of a longer cooking video and less of a diving video. So what I've already done is taken this octopus and just pulled, there's the head cavity right here, you just turn it inside out, you pull the guts from the inside, you cut out the eyes, and then you just remove the beak. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is take some salt and you're just going to want to pour a good amount of salt. So just massage the octopus and the salt for a minute or two. All right. Now that we've massaged the octopus in the salt, I'm going to rinse it off in the sink and uh, just do this until you get all the salt off the skin, the water is coming off clear, and there's no more foam or slime in the water. Alright, so our octopus is all washed and we're going to make kind of like a octopus salad out of it almost. It's really good. I've tried a bunch of different recipes with octopus and this is by far my favorite. So. The next thing you're going to need to do is get a large pot and boil the octopus. So I'm going to do that right now. Alright guys, so I got my pot right here and I'm ready to put the water and seasonings in it that we're going to cook the octopus in. So you're going to want enough water, I'm going to use about a liter, enough water so that when you put the octopus in, and you can test it before, so I'm just going to take my octopus and put it in the pot and if the water covers the octopus all the way you're good to go that's all you need so I'm gonna go ahead and take that out and we're not actually gonna put the octopus in it until the water starts boiling so the next thing I'm gonna add are a few bay leaves some uh, crushed black pepper and then some salt now I'm gonna put this on the stove let it get up to a boil before I put the octopus in. All right guys, so our water is now boiling and we're gonna go ahead and put the octopus in there. And when we put it in, you're just gonna wanna put the tentacles first into the pot and you're gonna wanna dip it a few times. And as you dip it, you'll see those tentacles will start to curl up. So now you can see just how much those tentacles have curled up. When they look like this, go ahead and just fully submerge your octopus in the pot of water. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes and the octopus is finished cooking. 
Um, so what I'm going to do now is, I just have right here, I'm going to take it and divide each section into the individual legs. That's one of the legs. So we're going to get eight legs, and then we're going to get this top section too, which is the head of the octopus. So I'm going to get the rest of the legs off. Okay, so I have all the legs divided now, as well as the head, and we're going to skin the octopus. So um, basically, if you look on the bottom, there's all these suckers, and then on top is the skin, and on the sides is the skin. You can pretty much just get a knife and cut, kind of just score the skin lightly, and then take your fingers and um, peel and peel the skin off the tentacles. All right, so our octopus has been completely skinned and now I'm gonna barbecue it. Um, before I barbecue it, I'm gonna put on some of this uh, Ohana Volcanic Legend seasoning. Um, my girlfriend recently got it for me and I just thought it'd be fun to uh, try it on this. I had it on some chicken last night and it was pretty good, so I think it's gonna be pretty good on this too. It's got like chili pepper, sea salt, garlic, onion, cayenne, and some other spices in it. So I'm just gonna throw some of this on. Now I'm gonna throw it on the barbecue. Make sure that you oil your rack before you put it on or else it might stick. All right, so it's been out five minutes and we're gonna flip it over. Um, we're not gonna barbecue it for super long because it's already been cooked. We're just trying to get it crisped up a little bit. So I'm gonna flip it over right now. All right, so it's been about five more minutes and the uh, octopus is ready to come off the grill. Sorry, I had some smoke in my eyes. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pull these guys off the grill. So the octopus is off the grill and now we're ready to uh, start cutting it up. So I have all the individual tentacles right here and I'm basically just gonna cut them up into little bite-sized pieces. I finished cutting it up into little pieces. There it is right there in the bowl. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and put some onions in with it. Bell pepper, a little bit of cilantro, pineapple, this is fresh pineapple, a little bit of garlic, and then I'm going to put in a little bit of olive oil, and finally, some lime juice. All right, now I'm gonna stir this all together and add just a little bit of black pepper over it. It's finally ready to try, so I'm just gonna get a little bowl. All right, so I got some octopus, some bell pepper, some onion. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. Guys, it's super good. I really like the pineapple, lime, and cilantro. That's a really good combination in there with the, with the octopus. Um, I know this recipe took a while to make, and um, I think it really worked out. I'm really happy with the way it turned out, so definitely give this one a try. Guys, if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up down below, and tomorrow I'm going diving again, so stay tuned because I'll have some more good content for you guys later this week. All right, shoots.